Oshomole wanted me, Philip Shalu, to join him, knowing fully well that I am closer to the, the members elect as at that time and members of the state assembly because I spent eight years in the House of Assembly here and I spent about 18 months in House of Rep and I have goodwill among the, the legislature because of my own style. And he wanted me to help him to use this same member when they are elected to remove the governor and for me to be the governor. And I said no. That it is not my 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 push is not is not my my will is not my nature to betray. If I didn't betray him when he was NSC president, when I was NAS president, when I was offered money to get the Nigerian student out of it, out of the proposed strike, if I didn't betray him then, and I didn't betray him when I was chased with money and plot of land in Metama to sign an impeachment of Comrade Adam Soshomole when I was in the State Assembly. If I did not betray him, then I cannot betray my own governor. And I said, I don't have those tendencies. And that I plead with, I plead with Oshomole. I knelt down to beg Oshomole that this government is doing well. And the policies that we, agree, uh, we, we adopted during this time, we have taken that to the next level. I went on my knees to beg Oshomole that if no matter what Obaseki will have done, which everything that I asked, all the questions I asked, flimsy excuses he was giving me, and I said, when I could not hold something that Oshomole had with the governor, I knelt down and I begged him. I said, I am your son. Why not because of me? forgive. And Oshomole said, now he has confirmed that I am now with the governor. And I stood up and I said, well, if you want to remove the governor, then you remove the governor and I. But you want to use me to chase the governor? No way. If the governor goes, I go. And that was how I departed from Oshomole. And the truth is, I hate oppression. When Oshomole was being oppressed, I would fought on his side. I was injured. I was brutalized. My family were at risk. I threw my family from um, uh, uh, when, when I was attacked. I assassination. I was to be assassinated. I assassin came to my house. And the man that he is supporting as a candidate, Pastor Eze Yamu, was the one that, that sponsored Shaba and these characters. Me. So the House of Assembly, Cotters, where I was living then as a member of the House, shattered shatter the house with guns. The cars that were in front of the house, the engine, I had to change them after the accident. I threw my family through the fence. My wife, my children, I threw them across the fence to the other compound. And that was how they were saved. All in the name to save Comrade from being impeached. So if I join to fight that oppressive tendencies and those oppressors that wanted to get him out, which Ozeyama was part of, I told him the same energy I used to fight on his side when he was being oppressed and when he wanted to be impeached. It's the same energy I will use to fight for the governor because he has decided to replace his own oppressors with himself to now oppress another man, and that is why I became uh, I, because I hate oppression. That was why I became an activist. I didn't become an activist for myself. I became an activist to fight against oppression. If you check my records during the military, you will see that I was part of the struggle for this democracy. So when Oshomole is talking about House of Assembly, he has asked the plan to do what he's doing. All these members that we are talking about, they are not the members that were elected in the APC uh, 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 primaries. Oshomole as national chairman got to Abuja and changed all these names and selected these members. All the names, Demia Lawani and all of them, he changed them. Demia won his elections. A lot of these guys won their elections. He changed all of them and put his stooges 
to achieve control here. Yeah. So when you see some of them living and uh, collecting money not to this morning and three now collecting 40 40 million to join him it's all the script that he has planned but unfortunately for him there are some members that still have integrity that have made up their mind that they will not be commodity to be purchased and those members are the ones standing so the old picture of the House of Assembly was orchestrated and planned by Comrade to control of Baseki and I. You can imagine I am the Deputy Governor of Edo State from this constituency, a constituency that I served for eight years and I also represent the Federal Constituency and I was nicknamed Mr. Constituency Project as member of the House of Assembly in eight years. I, I, I had 49 projects to my credit. And that's why I was nicknamed. In 18 months, I was in House of Rep. I had nine projects to my credit. And in this same comrade, this same comrade is coming to tell 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 us the uh, uh, House of us coming to tell me that his younger brother will be the one to represent me. His younger brother, Saido Shomole, is the one to represent that same constituency and representing me in this constituency. He changed the thing to, to, to have his, his younger brother to be the member to represent this constituency. He forced Ghani Audu, which he has nominated Aroni Meito Ezeyamu on us. Andrew will have been the member. He changed it. So, and I have two of my members from Esako West, not my own rep. And the interesting thing is that they were not the popular candidates. He changed them because he was the chairman, national chairman. How can you have an Oshomole that will not, it will change the representative of the governor? Governor representative, the two representatives from Oredo, Oshomole changed them. Ovia, he changed them. The two of them, he changed them. Oriyo, the same. Umode, same. So it was all planned, but God's grace is with us. And the people of Edo is with us. And the prayers of Edo people have sustained us. And that's why they've been making mistakes. And his plans have not materialized. Because God knows our mind. God knows that uh, uh, God, God, you know, Basaki and I and SLG and others supported him with our heart, with our body, with our time, with our resources, even at the risk of our life to sustain him for eight years. And because of that, God has been protecting us from him. So, if you check, what is he looking for? He has spent eight years here as a governor. What is Oshomole looking for now? That will be kneeling down from one end to the other. What is he looking for? I've never seen where a man will be contesting an election. Somebody else is the one doing the campaign and he is at home. That's what situation we have found ourselves. If Oshomole feels is popular, let him stop this violence. Let him stop buying guns for these young ones. And let him come on that day, let the PVC speak. And when the PVC speak, he will see that he's not the Oshomole that we used to wear khaki. Everybody now know the Oshomole that is khaki and the Oshomole that is uh, uh, safari. And the Oshomole that was khaki was the one that can walk on the street and they won't pull him. They won't stone him. The other day, I had to also join him to kneel down, to beg the people to stop calling him Oshomole Ole. So, so that is, and this is the same Oshomole that told me time back that the day that the people start bullying at him or close to that, that is the day we resign from politics. Why has he not resigned from politics? They are not only bullying him, they are not stoning him. So for me, it's shameful I've apologized to Nigerians, but it's obvious that that apology, I, I have to withdraw it because I thought apologizing to Nigerians and still asking people to talk to him and pray for him will change his mentality. But I've discovered that he had, he, he had decided to, just by himself, destroy the legacy that we thought we were building together. But we will not depart from that legacy because the people first, the people in the middle, and the people last. Mm -hmm. Everything about us is about the people. And thank God now we are even in a party that believe that 
power belongs to the people because we started this journey on the on the mantra let the people lead he now wants to be the one leading not the people and i will not join him in dictatorship if i was interested in dictatorship i will not be fighting the military during the military i will not be hailing those tear gas i will not be declared wanted during the military because we need democracy that was why we fought that time and that democracy no oshomole can truncate that democracy no oshomole can be a dictator but we fight with everything that we have the same way we fought for him the same way we fight for Godwin. this election is not just about me it's not about Godwin, but it's about the future of this state and i was ready to fight on the side of Godwin, even when i was not nominated at the extent of me being nominated as running mayor, I was ready. Because the truth is, we need democracy. We need a democracy that, that actually deal with the yearning of the people. You can see my house. Each time you come here, you can see my house is full. If I was an oppressor, they won't be there. They won't be there. And we don't want oppressors. It should learn from Mr. President. And I'm calling Mr. President. To, 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 to call Oshomole to order. And also the same method that he has used to checkmate Magu, he should use the same to checkmate Oshomole. Because Oshomole is already breaching the, the, the financial rules. He's already laundering money. He's giving 40 million to, to individual. That is already money laundering. And it should be called to order it should be called to order. Thank you.